Hey guys, it's Brett with Brett's Crappy Shots here today, and uh, <laughs> today I got quite the little treat for you. It's the Crossman Vigilante. Uh, it's kind of like a 357 style replica. Uh, takes little rotary magazines like that. It is CO2 powered, and it don't come with a scope uh, but the rear sights are adjustable and the reason I put it at scope on it is I want to show just how accurate this gun truly is and with iron sights I'm not too good with and my red dot is currently on a, another gun which I'll be reviewing later uh, but from the factory, I haven't modified this one at all other than putting the scope on. Uh, it does 435 feet per second with pellets, 465 feet per second with BBs, and it's got a 6 inch rifled steel barrel, and without the scope, it weighs about 2 pounds, and yeah, it, it is about 2 pounds. Um, usually runs about fifty dollars online, and uh, it does come with the Weaver mount uh, or Picatinny. So you can mount all kinds of different optics onto it. So, well, let's get to shooting. I've got a camera set up downrange at the target. I've got the chronograph set right here and recording live on my phone. So, let's see what we can do. And the safety is back here, it's a cross bolt, but you have to pull the hammer back to engage or disengage. And for the most accurate shots, you will want to pull the hammer back because it makes this trigger a lot easier to deal with. So we'll be shooting at the top yellow target first. <laughs> yeah, the first couple of shots are always kind of wacky. But that's to be expected with just about all CO2s. I believe that one was me. And I'm using the RWS. Uh, Diabolo or Diablo, however you want to say that. Basics. They're a log cutter style. And each magazine holds 10 pellets. Let's 
try for the green target now. I should have done that before, but let's do a clean target. And out of all the pellets that I have, these are by far the best. With only a few exceptions, which I will call as a uh, honorable mention. And that's these old style lead free Frostmans. They're a supersonic high velocity. Um, those shoot okay. And the Crossman Destroyers and the Destroyer EXs. Those are the only other pellets that actually shoot somewhat decently. And that one's still got one pellet left in it. This is really a fun gun to shoot. And now we're going to shoot at the pink target. I will say... Uh, I will say this though, you don't get a whole lot of shots per CO2. I'm getting about 40 to 50 good shots. This one is now turning out to just be one ragged hole. And this type of performance right here is why I opted to just go ahead and put the scope on. Uh, versus taking it off of the other gun or taking off the red dot well, this gun can actually utilize let's go I think I'm going to get rained on <laughs> so far that's uh, 30 shots or 31 shots Let's go for that bottom green one now. And as you can tell, the velocities are kind of dropping off a little bit. The pellets are starting to drop. And the accuracy begins to diminish. And today's a really hot day. It's about 85 right now. So the CO2 should be operating quite optimal. was 40 shots and 
Number 30 somehow got uh, to being 6,429 feet per second. <laughs> uh, that's the second time today it's done something weird like that. Oh, and number 11 is 3,825. Huh. I think I might be a little bit too close to it. I think that might be what it's doing. It's catching some of the CO2 gases. Um, but you kind of got an average of about uh, two foot pounds of energy or 1.9 foot pounds of energy. Um, kind of an average speed with these seven grain uh, pellets. Um, looks like it'll be about 360 feet per second on average. So, for what it is, it's a fun gun, it is accurate, um, I tested a ton of pellets, and by far, these RWS basics did the best for me. Your gun may be different, but uh, it's a fun gun. You can get it about $50. Sometimes you can catch it on sale a little bit cheaper. Um, and it is not a 25 yard gun. <laughs> um, you can stretch things out to about 15 yards and have you know the same group that I've got now I'm I'm at uh, 13 yards right here so but at 23 yards things tend to open up a little uh, but it is a fun gun and you know out of the box it says or Crossman claims up to 435 feet per second with pellets and shots one and two are actually above that so I mean it will hit it it will hit what Crossman claims um, I've got a couple other groups let's see Um, got the Daisy Steel BBs. That's another one that uh, kind of messed up, but it had an average of about 350, 375, which that was about halfway through a CO2, so that's not really a fair assessment. Um, the Destroyer EXs that I've got over there. I had a maximum, this was a full shot string all the way till I started hitting into the 200s. But it started out at 376 and then jumped up above 460 uh, feet per second all the way up into the three uh, foot pounds of energy range. And as you can see, it is fairly consistent. Um, and with those destroyers, it does shoot fairly accurate uh, at 13 yards. Um, it's not one ragged hole, but some of the holes are kind of touching, and you know you can maintain a, a real decent group. Um, so I'll wrap it up there, guys. I appreciate you uh, watching my videos. So, like, share, comment, and subscribe.